Despite the fact that many people believe that in the Stone Age people were more like monkeys and lived accordingly, the recent archaeological excavations fundamentally changed the prevailing ideas, and in particular about the lives of women at that time. Well, what was the same for all was the principle live for a small amount of time and die young, since the lack of normal medicine and not the most comfortable living conditions led to the fact that the average age of our ancestors in those days was no more than 30 years and, as a rule, the life journey ended even by the age of 20. Welcome to Flip Side of History, the other side of the known history. Today we will discuss undoubtedly phenomenal things from lives of Stone Age women. Let's start by discussing the beauty standards of Stone Age women. On the basis of the images and sculptures found, scientists have been able to identify three basic standards of female beauty in the Stone Age, which depended on the location of the tribes and the kind of occupation. Well, the first is the mother woman, with large hips, large saggy breasts and a large belly, slightly slouching. Women who had given birth to and nursed several children corresponded to these features. It is therefore quite logical that the inhabitants of the Stone Age held such women in high esteem, respect and ideal of beauty. The most famous image is the figure of the so-called Willendorf Venus. The second is a female hunter, a completely opposite standard of beauty, a tall, slender, lean and muscular woman with short legs and almost no breasts. Hips, by the way, are quite moderate in size. Such figures have been found on the territory of the modern Irkutsk region in Russia and in the Czech Republic. The third is also thin, with small breasts and an undefined waist. How the way of life influenced the appearance of Stone Age women Modern movies do not correspond in even the slightest degree to what present-day scientists actually know. It is unlikely that in the Stone Age there lived movie divas with white hair, manicures and bright white teeth. For example, Stone Age women who lived in Japan had serious problems with their teeth, the cause of which was exclusively plant-based diet. Another feature of women of that time was very strong arms and shoulders. All domestic work was done by a woman and was done solely with her hands, from making fires to cleaning the skins of wild animals and sewing clothes. Modern scientists are sure that almost any woman of that time could become a world champion rower today without much difficulty. Cambridge University professor Ilias McIntosh, who proved what is written above, wrote about the reasons behind the incredible strength of Stone Age women. Before the invention of the plow, farmers had to plant the seeds of grains by hand, cultivate the fields and harvest all the crops. Women, in addition, had to carry water for livestock, to milk cows and prepare milk, to cook meat, to make fur skins and weave wool threads. Such a variety of physical activities and associated chaotic changes in bone structure may explain why no one had noticed this amazing feature of ancient women before. The legs, on the other hand, were rather poorly developed, and this could also be explained by the way of life. The woman spent more time at home, and there was not much work for her legs. Also, studies of bone remains and mummies found in wetlands have shown that Stone Age women had almost permanent lung problems while fiddling around the hearth. By inhaling the smoke daily, they received rather serious deposits of ash in their lungs, which led to the development of various respiratory diseases. Also being by the fire caused inflammation of the eyes and darkening of the skin pores. And finally, the most common myth out of all created by the movie industry is the hair that was loose. All scientists assure almost unanimously that this could not be the case. The hair of Stone Age women was gathered into a bundle, since loose hair near the hearth could just burst into flames and simply burn. What women of the Stone Age either knew of or at least guessed about. As strange as it may sound, but DNA analysis of bone remains unambiguously confirmed the hypothesis that Stone Age women at least guessed about interbreeding, sexual relations between close relatives in the zoological interpretation. Despite the simple fact that there was hardly any cult of a single family back then, women understood that interbreeding would not do any good. By the way, the famous Neanderthals, according to one version, became extinct precisely because of the high percentage of incest. There is also a version that women gave birth to many children not because of fear of menstruation, but simply to increase the number of descendants. And again, most scientists are sure that even back then, women understood what this process was for and it couldn't frighten them in any way. 
The most astounding thing is that defiance in the New World show that women of the Stone Age not only were not afraid of it, but even kept a sort of appropriate calendars. That is what archaeologists call a rather large number of found stone tablets, with serifs of different sizes. Thus, what we know for sure is that women at that time were already able to plan their own pregnancy. Let us tell you about the facts of the lives of Stone Age beauties that may impress one's imagination. It appears that marriage ceremonies were already taking place in the Stone Age. This is evidenced by the findings near Sangir, not far from Moscow. The analysis carried out by the scientists showed that the very process of marriage was quite complicated, and our ancestors took it rather seriously. Stone Age women obviously may have had a fair amount of scars, but even then they tried to look beautiful, naturally, according to their abilities. For instance, beauties of that time used to adorn themselves with fangs, bone jewelry, earrings, and even though it's hard to believe, but with a prototype of modern piercings. Women also put tattoos on their bodies, on a par with men. Quite often those tattoos were of different colors. And in this case, scientists have noted quite an interesting feature. If a man applied tattoos mostly according to the principle where there is space, then the woman, first of all, under the tattoos hid her own scars. In many cases, the same as men, women adorned their faces with colored patterns. Many believe that such makeup originally had a purely practical purpose. For example, the application of mud to the face protected against parasites, and the properties of colored paint could help cope with possible infections. Perhaps, this tradition has passed to the East, when Arab warriors lined their eyes, and before Arabs the same was practiced in ancient Egypt. And this procedure served not for beauty, but specifically to protect the eyes from infections and the development of infectious diseases of the eyes. Despite the well-established stereotype of women supposedly wrapped in the skin of a whole mammoth, this is not true at all. Finds from the Stone Age undoubtedly prove that even then women sought to create comfort and also convenience in everything, first and foremost in their clothing. They were able to cut the skins and sew clothes from several shreds. Moreover, women wove clothes from thin twigs and grass. Modern scientists are convinced that the first prototypes of cloth came specifically from the Stone Age, when women learned to weave the yarn from grass. What is probably most surprising to many will be the fact that Stone Age women were trying to solve the problem of their teeth becoming rotten. The remains found in a number of places shocked scientists by revealing that there was already a primitive dentistry in the Stone Age. Seals were found on the teeth, which were made from a mixture of resin, bitumen, and some herbal ingredients. This is why we can say with certainty that it is thanks to women that there were medical services already in the Stone Age that we had not known about. For example, in France, a device made of stone to expand the mouth was discovered on the site of ancient settlements. According to scientists, dentists of that time looked into the patient's mouth in this way and then scraped off the putrefied tissues. It is quite an astonishing thing nowadays to feed children as well. Some findings show that a Stone Age woman could breastfeed her child even for several years. As in the animal kingdom, it was not the development of the child that determined when it was time to be weaned, but the mother herself. You were watching Flipside of History. Subscribe, leave a like and expect more videos from this channel.